from Roma, Italy. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at 259 pounds, Dominic DiRucci. Former two-time WWWF World Tag Team Champion, a former three-time Stampede Wrestling Tag Team Champion, former NWA Florida World Tag Team Champion, 2002 Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, the World's Heavyweight Champion, Dominic DiRucci. Dominic DiNucci wrestled seven consecutive decades from the 50s to 2012. You know, you didn't mess around with Dominic. He was so technically sound. I remember being in Italy. He was a huge Italian bodybuilder, wanted Dominic to train him. Dominic cut down in the referee's position on his hands and knees, and he said, if you can turn me, I'll train you. And this guy thought it'd be a piece of cake, and uh, he, he couldn't do it. Yeah, Dominic was, I think, in his early 50s at that time. Will you defend your title against all comers, Don? Yes, I do. You really won. I think I'm in good shape. I can't think of anyone, any men. I've been helped by so many people during the course of my time in wrestling. And some of them have helped me get to where I was. But uh, the, the most instrumental person was Dominic because I was not a, uh, didn't have a lot of athletic ability. And I was pretty sensitive. And he was able to work around that. And he was able to help me believe in myself. He was an incredible teacher. He was a great friend. I, he was a tough guy. Wow. Denucci and DiBiase going through some sort of routine, Bruno. <laughs> Dominic Denucci was also one of the first exports of American wrestlers to go to Australia along with the likes of Ray the Crippler Stevens and Killer yeah, Kowalski yeah. where they drew nothing but money. Actually, Barnett has gone on record as saying his three biggest drawing baby faces in the World Championship Wrestling run in Australia were in order Dominic Danucci, then Spiros Arion, and then Mario Milano. You were Bruno's best friend forever. Bruno Samartina made him in 1956 between uh, uh, Toronto and Montreal was a TV station there that we did the TV. That's the first time I saw him. And he said to me, he said, where you come from? And I said, I'm from Italy in a little town, La Provincia Campo Bas. And he said, oh my God. He said, we were 40 miles away apart, but we didn't know <laughs> each other, you know. Uh, sometime he was going to different place because he mostly was in New York and I was traveling mm -hmm. the other end of the world. But we made a six trip together in Japan, and in California, and Australia, and any, anywhere else. We, we almost did the world. You know, uh, now because it's not here anymore, but uh, I cried for one week for him, you know, yeah. and uh, because it was, was nothing uh, the best friend I ever got in my life. And we got along good very well, and uh, and I hope someday I'm going to see him again.